Coach, obviously your, your numbers have been a, probably a challenge as a cornerback <laughs> and really in this entire secondary this spring. How have you kind of managed that and, and what's been the approach for, with you and the guys to try to make the most of that situation? Um, well, for us, we're kind of used to it, meaning we're always going to try and, uh, <clears throat> you know, we, we want a versatile secondary. So we'll, we'll try guys at different positions. We, we haven't changed from the standpoint when we, we first got here. You know what I mean? We're going <clears> to, <throat> we want to see who can play, who can play the different spots. And uh, we're going to do that in practice, anyways. Obviously, we're we're we're, we're thin a little bit with uh, the limit of reps that we're giving some certain guys, and uh, <clears throat> but for the most part, you know, guys are doing a really good job. I mean, it's not it's not the numbers that we want, but they've been able to manage it, and uh, we're doing a good job of monitoring it, and uh, and we've had some success with it. Go to Adam. With the guys that are out. All the things that you would be doing uh, in spring practice, what, what are those things you now have to cram into fall camp to get them ready for, for the game? Well, again, you know, for a lot of these guys, that some of the guys that are not getting a multiple reps, okay, in the physicality part, where they've really benefited from is, is uh, again, one year into this thing, now we're on our second year. Uh, the gains that we're making, how we're growing as a defense um, has been tremendous, meaning in the classroom, okay, uh, they're out there coaching, um, you know, every single play. Okay, so they're growing and they understand our scheme a lot better, and so we're making major gains in that. They understand, you know, what the scheme is like now, and and then being able to challenge them, uh, whether it's on the field, okay, from a standpoint, whether it's uh, the limited amount of reps, whether it's a walkthrough or low tempo, you know what I mean? What do you have here? What's your, you know, what's, what's your job here? What are you looking for in this situation, okay? That's been outstanding. And it starts with Trey Flowers and Jalen McCullough. The leadership that they're getting, okay, as a collective group has been outstanding. They have taken their level of leadership to another, you know, another step. And uh, we've been really excited about that and uh, taking a lot more ownership in every, lead to every detail that we do, whether we're in the classroom, whether it's a walkthrough, or whether we're actually doing it in the practices. Ben, Brent, and Austin. Willie, just with the, the low numbers, were, were you able to maybe spend some more one-on-one -on -one time with Desmond, uh, and just how big of a spring uh, was this an opportunity for him, and how do you think he's handled it? Yeah, I mean, he's one of, <clears throat> he's one of the guys, but everybody that's really, that's taken the reps, you know, we call them valuable reps, man. They're expensive. I mean, if you're going to take a rep here, we're counting on you. We trust you. Um, doesn't really matter if it's Dez or, um, you know, or, or it's um, Will Wright, you know, who's, who's really having a good camp here. Um, so it's, you know, there's, there's uh, the individual parts always every day with each and every one of those guys. And, and uh, um, he's, a, he's a new player that's coming in and trying to learn it, just like the guys that when we first got here, they got to go through that process. He's done a good job with that. Um, you know, again, we're doing a great job of leadership within the group, okay? And, and the first guys that come to mind, again, I'm gonna say it's Trey Flowers and Jalen, you know what I mean? Where they're, they're actually on hand coaching every single play when they're not in there. Um, so that's been the, the biggest growth that we've made as a defense and especially in the back end um, where, you know, they're holding each other accountable, which is really neat to see. Coach, you've mentioned leadership a couple of different times. Has that been natural or is that a conversation you had with, with Trey and, and Jalen that, hey, with, with Theo gone, who was kind of your alpha male, I, you guys have to now. Is that something you've really preached to them or did that kind of come organically with I think it, guys? it came out organically from Trey. You know, Trey had an opportunity to leave. He wanted to come back. He wanted to grow. Um, he wanted to be a better pro, and, and I, you know we say within our building, you know, if you want to be a great pro, man, you got to practice being a pro. And he's taken those steps. You know, he's asked, you know, how can I get better? What what areas can I get better at? So it's really more organic. It's more, more passionate. It's something that he wants to. He's got the bad case of want to right now, and uh, and and it's and it's happening with Jalen also. It's happening with all the guys, and obviously the older guys. Um, you know, I haven't mentioned Burrell. You know, the outstanding work he's doing off the field, um, along with being on the field, you know what I mean? It's, it's, been, it's, it's been really impressive. And again, that's how it's gonna help us get to, through the summer, okay? And being ready for the fall. I've been at places, including here, um, there's a guy by the name of Brian Randolph that was a really good player for us here, okay? We couldn't hit him. We couldn't, we, we were just gonna go ahead and do all the things we can do, okay? Um, you know, but not, let them go live in scrimmages, 
okay, because of the injuries he had in the past. And we wanted to we wanted to give him, you know, a shot to actually play through a season. And if you guys remember guys that have been here, you know, he was able to do that those last couple of years he played, kept them fresh. So if you're smart, you know what I mean, you're passionate about all the small details each and every day, um, you know, you could be prepared, especially the guys that have the starts that they have, you know what I mean? Uh, <clears throat> that some of those older guys have. Austin, and then Coach, when you look at uh, Christian Charles, I know he's working some corner for you this spring. Kind of where do you envision him when you have a fully healthy secondary come fall camp? And uh, you know, what are the differences you can see in his game between, let's say, last August and right now? He's grown and understanding. You know, he's, he's someone that played a lot more offense in high school than defense. And uh, he has grown so much in, in our, our knowledge of the game from that, from that side of the ball. Um, you know, one thing about Christian, Christian's high energy. He's, he's a physical player. He can run. He's smart. He's got so much passion to be really good. Um, so he literally can play all of them on the back end. He can play any position. Um, you know, and that's, he's, those are the guys that we want to be able to continue to recruit that are very athletic, very versatile. And he's done a really nice job of, of, uh, of picking up the new positions, you know what I mean? And uh, so I, I think a lot of it has to do with, I'm going to go back to the guys that have been very impactful in our room. And it's going to be Flowers, it's going to be McCullough, it's going to be Burrell, you know, the small details that are being said to him. you got somebody who's got passion, somebody who's athletic, somebody that really has the want to. He's going to succeed. You know, he's done a really nice job here of 13 practices of being locked in, focused. Um, you know, obviously it's, it's uh, taking, the, taking those training wheels off, you know what I mean, from a standpoint, hey, you're going to try another new position. He's done a great job. He's really taken it and, and run with it, and, uh, and he's been very productive for us. All those guys who, who are hurt right now, what, what can they get out of spring? I mean, I know they're kind of out there watching. I'm sure I assume they're in meetings. What? What can they do throughout spring to try to improve and make the most of it? Well, they've been, you know, the guys that haven't had that many reps, again, not, not talking specifically, um, there's the mental part, there's also the physical part, you know, whether, whether they're rehabbing, whether they're taking less reps. I mean, again, the approach has been everything matters. Every small detail matters, okay? How you, how you come into a meeting, how prepared are you, um, are you holding yourself accountable for us or first is about, about being a really good teammate? Are you taking care of business? Because those are the things, again, guys that have experienced that aren't having that many reps, you know, they've seen this, you know, they, they, they've been through the process, they have an idea, and, and they've matured enough to understand that, that everything that they do, whether, again, in the weight room and whatever that might be, or on the walkthroughs, or they're staying in there, they're coaching every rep. Okay, we've challenged the players, that even if they're not, even the ones that are not, that are, that are rehabbing, okay, guys that are just finished off a rack of four plays over here, you're actually looking at the position that you just left from, okay? And you're gonna, I mean, I'm gonna hold them accountable, you know, of watching it and finding out the good and the bad so they can talk about it, okay? Because you can learn from the ones that, the learn, learn from the reps that you didn't even take, but you can visually see it. Well, two things. One, it looked like Tamari McDonald flashed in the scrimmage. Can you describe his development and, and how he's improved? Okay, another one who's versatile, and uh, we've moved around a little bit. He has grown so much from a year ago. Um, he, made, uh, uh, he made some strides in the special teams, okay? Uh, and that's really where it's taken off. You know, now he's got a lot more confident, knows the scheme a little bit better. Um, he's become a versatile player for us. You know, we feel comfortable in him playing three positions. And, uh, and that's what you need uh, in the secondary where you can actually move guys around and you're not just playing the backup, you're playing the next best guy, the guy that's prepared the most, you know. And we've really have gained a lot of confidence in, 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 in T-Mac, as we call him, you know, and, and, uh, and he's, he's, uh, he's really done a nice job. Can you share your working relationship with Tim Banks and how in sync you guys are to teach your players and be on the same page in their development? Um, you know, I mean, I've, I've known Tim for a long time, and, uh, and I know who he is. He knows who I am. Um, you know, we've kind of like every, every job we've taken, uh, you, you know, if you, look at our, if you look at the track record, you know what I mean? We've worked with some really good people, you know what I mean? And it's, it's very uh, same kind of relationships. We know, 
you know, we know who we've worked with. We know uh, we're very similar in our styles. Um, you know, it, it matters. It matters. I think it goes. It matters across the board in our profession. You know, you're gonna, you're gonna, um, res you know, really take on the guys that you really uh, uh, respect as a man. Um, he's a great husband. Uh, obviously, I've known him as a player, and uh, the, the the details that, that he was as a player. Again, you can see it now as as the defensive coordinator and being a leader of a, you know, of a, of a defense that. Uh, that uh, doesn't make anybody more prouder than I do. You know that that's that that, that fires me up to see how his his career's taken off, and and um, you know, and it's great to be around it. Willie, Willie, you've mentioned a, a couple of guys that have um, over here, uh, that have they're able to play multiple positions. You've got some veterans. How much right now are you thinking about how you and the staff are going to piece all of it together once you get to the fall, or is the spring more just about I'm focusing on getting these guys better? Or are you still thinking big picture in terms of how? Everything might fit together with all the, you know, some of the versatile guys you have. Say that again. I'm if it, you've got guys that can play multiple positions, mm -hmm. and, and how much are you thinking right now of, of how you're going to piece who plays here, who plays there, how, uh, you know, the rotation maybe? How much are you thinking about that right now, or is it in the spring you're thinking about just individual improvement and things like that? No, I mean, uh, again, we're going to play the best. If there's five guys on the field, we're going to play the best five. The guys that are the most versatile, okay, understand the scheme the best and have been productive, they're gonna be the first five guys going out there. That's how we like to roll it out. And, um, and, we, and, and we're feeling good about a certain guys that can do that, you know? That, uh, uh, so it doesn't become somebody who's backing up at corner, okay? That really is not the same player as the guy that might be multiple inside at the star and the two safety positions. Play him. He's been the most productive. Um, our guys know that the best, the best are gonna play first, the guys that have proven it, um, and again, the more that, that they're having success, the better it is for us. I mean, we literally could not line up last year, you know, in certain situations, you know, that we won in the games because we didn't have enough DBs healthy enough uh, or, you know, didn't, didn't feel comfortable and trust them at that point. You know, but now we're kind of building uh, the more, the more we have, the better it's going to be for us where we can be a little bit more flexible, play more guys. We've got to play more guys. We're playing a lot of snaps on defense, right? So. And we've said it along, you know, all, the whole time. We'd rather have, you know what I mean, like 10 guys, 8 to 10 guys rotation. I mean, that would be great for us in the back end, just like offenses do where they're, they're moving in and out, just like defensive linemen are, you know, substituting, you know, on our side. We've got to do the same thing on the back end. So the more guys that, that, uh, that we trust and guys that have really produced now and then throughout the summer and then through camp, more beneficial for us. Uh, another guy that's a little bit banged up right now, but started with you guys over a corner, Danico Slaughter. What have you seen from him and his progression, you know, from this time last year? Um, again, I know I'm going to sound like a broken record here, but I think his knowledge of our scheme, um, um, he's one of those guys that can play all five of them, uh, you know, and, and he's growing more, more, <clears throat> more involved, more vocal in meetings, uh, more involved and vocal out in the field. Um, you know, I think Coach Hype has said it. I know I've heard it. I've heard it from other coaches. You know, uh, you know, we sit around and we talk about it all the time. You know, a year later, you know, we, it went from us coaching all the guys from on the field to the sideline, okay, to now where you can't even get a word in. You know, once they leave their reps on the field, they go to the sideline, you want to make some corrections. We've got players already hitting it. You know, I said earlier about you know, watching your position and coaching your position, even when you're out and you just went through there, you know, that's what's really neat. That's what's really cool. And, you know, you know, Nico's the same dude, you know, I mean, that, that these other guys are that, uh, you know, they're, they're still involved and stay engaged in everybody. You know, it matters to them. You know what I mean? It's really, it's really cool to see. Thank you, yeah, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate you guys. Thanks, man.